hey good morning everyone this is another session on palmistry and in this video i will be discussing about this particular palm we will be trying to understand uh, you know uh, what are some of the important markings and one of the uh, one of the tricky markings in palmistry is the chain and this person does have that chain marking in the hand and i'll talk about that also to tell you that this person has fought and defeated cancer and that is one of the most uh, significant transformations uh, that has happened to the person and it's important to also map where do we see this and how do we see that how the how did the person transform his journey right so it's very important to find out these signs so chaining of the line at times can cause a lot of obstacles and if you look in closely the lifeline is completely chained right till this point you can completely see that there is a significant amount of chaining that is there right by chaining i mean there are these oval like symbols like coming like this right there are like these oval like symbols which are coming and disrupting the pattern or the flow of the line right the flow of the line ideally should be smooth right the line should be in a straight formation like this but you can clearly see how much disrupted it is so i'll try to take a zoom in and try to make you see how the islanding marking looks into the hand so that you can also identify it in other people's palm so you can see over here how this you know bubbling effect is happening right you can clearly see how the uh, line is getting uh, into these uh, sort of oval sort of markings right across and uh, uh, the person also tells me that the person had a lot of struggles from the age 20 till 37 38 it was around the age of in fact 38 39 when the person came out of uh, you know uh, cancerous situation right you can see the similar sort of a uh, difficulty coming on the headline as well you can clearly see how jagged it is how many random markings how many horizontal bars are cutting but after the ages of 37 38 or 38 or so the line is completely getting transformed so uh, it's important to understand that you know that at times there are negative markings in the hand as well but then they get transformed as well for instance in this particular palm there are two things that you can observe first whenever the headline was going straight there were a lot of obstacles right so whenever it is going straight you can see there are these horizontal bars that are cutting across continuously right and the minute it has start started to bend down or curve down it's looking much more better which means that there are certain underlying uh, obstacles or certain patterns we need to change in this particular case probably the person was too materialistic too much after money too much after logic and rationality but the minute the person has changed the approach right the person has become a slightly more creative slightly more innovative then uh, you know uh, the headline has significantly improved right and probably that might be the underlying cause of uh, also getting rid of a disease like cancer so hence such transformations uh, are very evident in the palm as well now if i have to look into the lifeline as well you see the lifeline was completely under pressure right and the minute the lifeline is becoming straightened right there is no negative marking on the line at all uh, till the point it was curved you could see that there were a lot of these islands now the curviness of the lines is brought by planets like venus uh, or planets like uh, jupiter right and they can bring in a sense of curviness to the line but the straightness of the lines indicates clearly that saturn is coming into the picture right which means that if the person simply starts becoming more disciplined in life starts becoming more structured in life starts becoming uh, more and more stable and consistent in life see straight line means consistency stability right those sort of things and the curviness of the lines can indicate that always wanting to expand always wanting to do something uh, new once that person curbed that particular habit and see everyone's lesson will be very different for example in this case 
the person had to learn the importance of stability consistency and discipline for someone else it can be reversed so chain is that blocker or that marking that helps you transform from an habit which you probably would have abused or misused or overused in your earlier lifetime so for example this person has so many chains when the line is curved indicating that maybe the person's soul was too adventurous or too ambitious in the earlier lifetime and it didn't learn the importance of discipline and for this person the important lesson was to become more disciplined to become more structured and to become more stable right and that is where the chaining uh, was used to trap the person in a certain situation now chaining can indicate accidents chaining can indicate confusion it can also indicate health diseases like cancer so probably in this person case that disease was thrown so that the person transforms himself and meaningfully become better maybe this habit was not you know uh, the person was not able to overcome this habit from a long time and hence this uh, way of getting the person transformed was maybe used so that is how you will have to interpret these lines so similarly on the headline maybe the person was too materialistic and uh, too much after money too much after logic but gradually the person opened up and analyzed that you know the person has to become more spiritual more creative and so on and so forth so two important and critical you know lessons that uh, this this would be there for the person is mind wise the person has to become more spiritual more creative more open and uh, general life wise the person has to become more stable more disciplined and more and more st uh, structured right so that is how we can see the transformations happening in this line and these islands whenever you see in anyone's palm right uh, always caution them tell them learn the lessons right tell them that intuitively what you feel what you need to do next that it's important that and and i have also seen people who have these chain who have these islands they're also more intuitive so they know where they need to move but how fast do they break the pattern how fast do they follow that intuition becomes important the sooner they do the sooner this chain will get dissolved as well the sooner the lines will get transformed as well right so it's very important to uh, clearly understand right now if i have to give a remedy for example now you can clearly see this island is happening under jupiter and under mars right which means some correction of mars and some correction of jupiter may be required to dissolve the islanding effect right so you could give some vishnu mantra or some mars related mantra for example mars is associated with the deity hanuman right because hanuman uh, was known to rule mars right and similarly uh, jupiter is related to vishnu so those mantras can be given to dissolve this chain or the looking at the other way round when the chain is improving it is under saturn and under saturn the lines are seen much better which means saturn is posting a positive uh, you know influence on this person so saturn is ruled through shiva uh, or saturn mantra could be taken up to help the person uh, improve so that is how you will have to start linking mantras or positive chants or positive vibes and understand how to transform these negative markings into positive see every marking can be transformed into something positive that is what i can tell from experience and through mantra and through meditation these can be transformed in a more authentic way right rather than forcefully bringing in some negative pattern and then changing when you move on to meditation and chanting these sort of markings transform very gradually and it gives a very positive effect to the person as well right so hopefully from this video you understood that you know in the hand it's more about the lessons that you need to learn and move towards and second the healing part is always pos possible a very uh, transformative and positive palm is this one where the person was able to transform a very severe health issue and come out of it uh, and this might be purely because of his good karma and good uh, you know intuitiveness to move in a different direction right so uh by uh, the second important lesson that we learn out of this is that if we are using good mantras positive mantras you can transform your hand completely into something very very positive as well 
Hopefully you got few more insights from this video. I'm Shutang into palmistry. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Have a brilliant day. Bye bye.